All right, guys, what do you think, huh? Should we go have fun sailing? I'm gonna open that trunk. Come on out, let's go for a sail. Go, Patty. Welcome to the 1999 Buick Regal Product Master Video. Today, we're going to see why Regal is known as the official car of the supercharged family. We'll talk with customers, salespeople, and Regal designers and find out what Regal means to them. The size, the power, the styling, pretty much everything that the Regal has to offer suited my needs right now. My girlfriend had a Regal and every time that I rode with her, I just loved her car. So the next car we bought was going to be a Regal. The 1999 Regal is the perfect sedan for the high-performance supercharged family. Stylish, exciting, spacious, and generously equipped. The Regal LS engine is the naturally aspirated 3800 Series 2 V6. Its eager acceleration reminds the Regal LS owner that ample power will be there when it's needed. For 1999, the engine produces 200 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 225 pounds-feet of torque at 4000 RPM. Notice there's an increase of 5 horsepower and 5 pounds-feet of torque over the engine in the 1998 LS model. The increased power is the result of a new, larger air cleaner and a low-restriction induction system. However, even before these enhancements were made, Regal LS engine power and torque surpassed that of many of the optional performance engines offered by its competitors. Projected fuel economy for the 1999 Regal LS is 19 miles per gallon city and 30 miles per gallon highway. You just let them know that it's a powerful engine, that it's going to be able to respond for them. You know, when they want to move and they mash the pedal, it's going to go. Ready for still more power? The Regal GS engine is the supercharged 3800 Series 2 V6. This engine produces the highest horsepower and torque ratings in the midsize segment. 240 horsepower at 5200 RPM and 280 pounds-feet of torque at 3600 RPM. By providing the, this kind of horsepower with the supercharger, we can achieve performance of a V8 engine, but we can do it with the fuel economy of a V6 engine. And Regal GS really stands out where it counts, on the road. In zero to 60 mile per hour acceleration tests conducted by Car and Driver magazine, Regal GS was clocked at 6.6 .6 seconds, beating Honda Accord EX V6, Toyota Camry XL EV6, and Ford Taurus Show by over one full second, and beating Dodge Intrepid ES by over two full seconds. Yet even with all that power, the 1999 Regal GS is still projected to get fuel economy of 18 miles per gallon city and 27 miles per gallon highway. That's comparable to the fuel economy of some competitive models that have substantially less powerful engines. Both Regal engines have been recalibrated for 1999 to operate at a lower idle speed for better cold weather operation. And Regal proves that a powerful engine doesn't have to roar. Regal engines are remarkably quiet, with a low torque axis engine mount system that reduces noise and vibration at idle to an almost imperceptible level. Starter protection is standard, so you won't grind the starter if you accidentally try to start it while it's running. And generous engine compartment insulation helps to keep the minimal remaining sound from entering the passenger compartment. All Regals continue to be equipped with a four-speed automatic overdrive transmission, the 4T65E, with an electronically controlled capacity clutch. Regal GS uses a heavy-duty version of the 4T65E transmission. New for 1999, Regal LS receives a more efficient torque converter. It has a larger diameter for better power transfer, contributing to the increase in torque I mentioned earlier. But performance isn't just about horsepower and torque. Steering, ride, and handling contribute greatly to a driver's feelings about how well a car performs. 
New steering components for 1999 provide all Regals with more precise steering and road feel. Both the Regal LS and the Regal GS, we have implemented a new steering intermediate shaft. This is called a 10-spline steering intermediate shaft with a concentric isolator. What this element does is it connects the steering column or steering wheel with the steering gear at the suspension. And what this does is it basically provides the connection and the rotational elements as well in order to execute steering. What this also does is it isolates the, uh, the steering column from shock inputs that are encountered on the road. However, in stroking it also still provides continuous engagement for turning. The other element that provides isolation is this concentric isolator provided here in black. What this means to the driver is that when you go over an impact or on a course road, you won't feel any of that bump, any of that shake, any of that unwanted vibration up into the steering wheel, which is annoying to a customer. However, what the customer will feel is good, precise steering. Specifically focusing on the Regal LS, we have improved the handling feel as well as given it a sportier ride. What we've done there is we've increased the shock valving. Additionally, we've increased the front and rear spring rates. We've retuned all of the bushings so that we get a more solid feel in the vehicle, as well as we get greater steering responsiveness, greater handling feel. Uh, additionally, what we've done is for the front and rear stabilizer bar systems, we've significantly increased the roll stiffness so that there is less body roll. And most significantly, what we've done is we've improved the steering ratio. We've gone from a 15.2 ratio to a 13.3 ratio, which is really one of the quickest in the industry. And again, what this does is it gives much quicker steering responsiveness, uh, better return to center from a steering input, and much better road feel. So the driver is uh, much more confident entering into a turn and exiting out of a turn. Magnetic variable effort steering continues as standard on all Regals for 1999. This system provides greater power steering assistance at low speeds and better road feel and control at highway speeds. Standard on Regal GS and optionally available on Regal LS for 1999, the Grand Touring Suspension is a four-wheel independent suspension with special components designed to provide the kind of firm, precise handling associated with the world's finest road cars. These include special front and rear shock absorbers, stabilizer bars, fast ratio power steering, and special wheels and tires. Another new feature that improves structural rigidity in all 1999 Regals is an underhood tower-to-tower -tower brace that spans both front shock absorber towers. What the customer will feel is he will feel a stronger vehicle. Uh, basically, it will feel less shake, uh, more integrated feel. Additionally, what he'll feel is greater steering responsiveness for a given amount of steering input. The car will move more. It will feel more responsive to him. And additionally, there will be less feedback from the road from a noise perspective. Traction control systems are standard in all Regals. The system on Regal LS is regulated by the engine to moderate power to the drive wheels to maintain traction. Regal GS has an enhanced full range traction control system, which is regulated by both the engine and braking system. Customers expect comfort from Regal. It delivers with one of the most spacious interiors of any midsize car. 118.5 cubic feet of spacious room for five people. And Regal is...